Cheers everyone, thanks for joining me for another beer review. Uh, the beer I'm gonna review now, I got the wife to pick it out the fridge, I wanted to sort of just have a bit of a, a random beer, which generally that's what I do anyway, but I just said to her, go take one out of the fridge and I'm gonna review it. Uh, and it's a beer that I picked up from Trembling Madness. It's another collaboration beer. Now, one of the breweries I've had nothing from before in the past, and the other brewery involved in this beer, I've only ever had another collaboration from them. So the breweries we're looking at is a Breval Stu Mostel and Stig Burgers. And this is, I think it's more to do with uh, the Breval Stu Mostel or Mosto uh, Brewery because this is an eighth anniversary beer and I don't even know what it's called. It's just a West Coast IPA. So Breval Stu Mostel, that's the one that I've never had anything from before and Stig Burgert's are the ones that I've had a, another collaboration beer from. But uh, yeah, it's a West Coast IPA. It contains Cascade, Columbus and Strata. I do like the label, very simple. It's a 440 ml can. The beer is coming in at 6.8% and bear with me. I don't think it was a particularly cheap one, but I did fancy picking it up just because it was something different. Yeah, five pound 50 this was. So not a cheap beer, but both foreign breweries if you like. Uh, so yeah, there you are. Very nice looking can, so let's stop waffling. We got that glass. Let's get it cracked open and uh, see what we get. Stig Burgert's out of Sweden. Stu Mostow, Stu Mosto, however you want to call it, are out of Poland. And that was the main reason. It was just something different that I wanted to try. So there is a little bit left in there. West Coast, I'm not massive fans of them, but saying that, I've, I've never really come out of it hating West Coast IPAs when I do review one, so maybe I'm turning, maybe I'm turning a bit, but beer in a glass, look at that. It looks like orange juice, it looks a lot lighter on the camera because of, I've got it backlit. For me, plenty of carbonation coming up the center of the glass just there. A deep orange sort of color, half a finger of white sort of compact head. There isn't much there, but it does seem like quite a heavy beer. So let's dive in on the nose and see what we get. Okay. Big hop aroma. light tropical aromas I would say. They don't punch you in the face but they feel quite sort of rich. But other than that I'm not really getting a massive amount so I'm going to stop sniffing. I'm going to give this can a swirl, get the rest in. It's nice and dense as in colour, you can't see through that at all. Looks like a, looks like the sun, doesn't it? So let's stop talking shit. Let's dive in on this one. Cheers, Trembling Madness, £5.50, cheers. Ooh. Ooh, that's different. Different to what I was expecting. Very different to what I was expecting. That's got a really good body. Really good body. Not thick, gloopy heavy, but very weighty, very weighty. It's got some density about it. It's not sort of like reaching gloopy standards, but it, it's very weighty. Little to no carbonation in there. It's just a little across the palate, like I say a lot of the times, but this is a really smooth carbonation. Not massive bubbles, not wild in the mouth, 
but it's all there, but it's just really smooth. And again, you know, the mouthfeel is really smooth. The softness of the beer is just really nice as well. The flavour of the beer is changing as I'm having mouthfuls. My initial thoughts on the taste were, and it is still sort of kind of there, it's got a stinging nettle kind of feel to it for me. Uh, stinging nettle. I never sort of got any piney resinous, certainly in the nose and in the initial taste. But that resinous is coming through. It's got an oily resinous. And I think that's maybe part of that stinging nettle kind of feel to it. Very hoppy. That oiliness is, is really starting to come in there. Most West Coast's uh, rule of thumb is sort of like piney, resinous, grapefruit, bitter. I'm not getting so much of that grapefruit. For me, it's more tropical. The pininess isn't there in pine flavour, if that makes any sense. You don't get that initial pine sort of taste. I definitely think there's pineapple sort of tang to it very light one passion fruit but there's a massive resinous hit in there it's not as bitter as I was expecting I was expecting this to be really sort of bitter and tangy on the back end although there is a bitterness there it's almost a sweet bitterness but I love that oily resinous feel in it That oiliness, you can, how can I put it? It's got that feel about it. Oh, I don't know. I think if you drink these sort of beers, you maybe know it's got that oily, almost, do you ever squeak your teeth? Do you ever grind your teeth together and it has that squeaky feel? It feels like that with the resinous. Not that I'm grinding my teeth, but it's leaving that, feel in my mouth it's got that taste in my mouth uh 6.8% it's lovely uh you know it's a bit stronger i don't think you can hide that well you can you're certainly not getting that 6.8% it's got but you're getting a really really drinkable beer that I'm going to say drinks around the 6% mark. That's really nice. It's got a lovely juicy note. But for me, that piney resinous feel in there is the winner for me. And that just really does it for me. So although it's a collaboration and it's my second collaboration beer, if you like, from Stig Burgers, it's my first attempt at uh, Breval Stu Mosdale beer and that West Coast IPA for their eighth anniversary. It's lovely. It's lovely. It's maybe not completely like you'd expect a West Coast. It might be their take on it. It might just be that it's slightly different, but that's really nice. That really is nice. And although it was an expensive beer, I don't know. It's just one of them. Sometimes you just buy a beer. It's a little bit more expensive. And you just feel where the money's gone in it. And that's no exception. So for me, this beer from Braval, Stu Mosco and Stig Burgers West Coast IPA is a winner. Uh, if you're thinking of getting it, give it a go. It's not massive on the bitterness, but that resinous feeling, it just does it for me. And I think, you know, that's what you expect from this sort of beer. A nice resinous feel. And I think hopefully what you're losing bitterness you get in that resinous kind of thing. So uh, yeah, give it a go. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Thank you all for watching. Rambled on way too long. Uh, and I'll see you again soon in another one. Cheers.